Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And we also talk about all things spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. So before we jump into this topic, I just want to say if there's anything that you are going through, anything that you want me to talk about in these videos, then definitely leave a comment down below or you can DM me on Instagram or you can text me. All of my info will be in the description box below. So I just want to like touch on topics that you're also dealing with as well, rather than just constantly talking about whatever I'm going through, you know. But for this video, we are going to do the last scene mirror because I have done, this will be all seven of them. And I really feel like the mirrors are so key to help you understand yourself and help you understand all of the different things that you're attracting into your life. And this one is probably my favorite, to be honest, because it's, I don't know, I feel like it's the hardest to grasp, but also the most freeing once you do as with fucking everything it never likes to be straightforward and easy so this one is about self-perception and honestly if you think about everything that we go through in life and everything that we do it always comes down to how you perceive yourself and how you feel about yourself so you can literally see this mirror in so many aspects of your life like they're fully revealing to you how you perceive yourself it's everywhere, you know? <laughs> that is essentially what all of these other mirrors are too, but just in different ways. So with this one, I feel like you can literally see it right now with the current situation that's happening because it's happening on a collective like mass scale. So it's literally mirroring the level of consciousness that the whole collective is at rather than just one individual so you can literally see like people revealing themselves of where their perception is at where their consciousness is at by how they're responding to this situation whether they're like panicking and panic buying and stressing and all of these kind of things and whether they're like chilled or more comfortable in this kind of like chaotic space you know it's really revealing the whole collective and how the collective feels about themselves so this one you can literally you can see all of these mirrors in so many aspects of your life but i guess the main kind of way that you would notice it maybe is like when you when you like compare yourself to others when you doubt yourself when you feel like you're not good enough you can literally see that reflected in your experiences and in your relationships and connections with people it's mirroring that insecurity it's mirroring that lack of self-worth you know so like an opportunity that you wanted maybe it doesn't come to you because you don't feel like you deserve it or maybe it's a relationship where like they're fully revealing to you how insecure you are or how like low in confidence you are you know so self-perception if you just look around at your circumstances, you can, and it's kind of hard to notice if you're not wanting to face yourself, to be honest, because like you have to be kind of really honest with yourself and truthful with yourself about how you actually feel about yourself. And that isn't an easy thing. So there could be a lot of situations that you're in where it's reflecting that, but you haven't become aware of it because maybe it's an aspect of yourself that you're not happy about or that you kind of feel ashamed of having and things like that you know I've definitely experienced this in many relationships where like it would fully reveal my lack of self-worth definitely revealed that to me <laughs> but when you're in it you don't realize that that's what it's revealing it's only when you get out of it and then you start to like do this work of being more self-aware and paying attention that you may then realize that that's what it was showing you you know and obviously it can also be showing you more than one mirror like they can all work together you know because this whole world is reflecting us in many many ways so it's just about paying attention and also being aware of yourself and aware of your thoughts and aware of your beliefs so then when you come into contact with other people and in situations you'll be able to go through these mirrors and you'll know that it's based upon something that you feel about yourself and the way that you perceive yourself you know so i really hope these mirrors are helpful it just takes a lot of like it's a lot of just being still and listening to be honest and i always feel like that sounds a bit silly to people that don't meditate or that don't 
do that or don't spend any time with themselves you know but it is something that's that you can do in any moment it's not where you need to just sit down and be still it's where you can be sitting there having a conversation with someone and instead of like instead of reacting and like getting emotionally triggered you kind of take a step back in your mind and you pay attention like you become aware of what the other person is saying and also what your thoughts are saying before you choose to respond like you're literally just it's almost like taking a deep breath and taking a step backwards and just becoming more aware of the situation rather than just like feeling an emotion come up and then just like reacting and blurting it all out and stuff like that you know <laughs> which a lot of us have done I've definitely done that but yeah so self-awareness is key and I hope these mirrors are helpful and help you start to essentially change your life because once you become aware of these mirrors you can then take control of the situations and also if you understand that like a situation is based upon how you perceive yourself you can then change how you perceive yourself and that external situation will start to reflect that whether that means the situation leaves like the person leaves your life or whether that means you leave your job or whether that means like something new comes in because you're now on a higher vibration you know you like you change yourself internally first and then your outside world will begin to change because all of the opportunities and the circumstances will start to move you know because everything's moving anyway things always change constantly but you can consciously get it to change to where you want it to be by ba taking control of your own emotional state your vibration your frequency so so thank you so much for listening on the podcast apps and watching the video on youtube i really appreciate you and don't forget to leave any topics or anything that you want me to talk about down below in the comments or you can dm me on instagram or any social media and also my phone number is in the description box below as well and all of my music will be in the description box too because we have new music coming very consistently now and I'm really really excited and thank you so much for all of your support with soul ties it literally means the absolute world I swear I wrote that song so long ago like some point last year I don't even know when <laughs> probably a year ago so yeah it's really cool to be releasing music now so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode bye Oh, yeah, think you like me Yeah, I'm icy, coolin' in the white tea Oh, yeah, think you like me Yeah, I'm icy, coolin' in the white tea Oh, yeah, think you might I'm the thing you like, be my range all white Oh, yeah, think you might I'm the thing you like, be my range all white